Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Cameron and today we're going to be getting started on a pretty cool little app with Qua the Quasar Framework, which is a really awesome um, way to get started if you're learning Vue or if you're learning um, Electron or Cordova, if you want to do all of those things at once. Um, it's just a really good place to get started and there's a lot of helpful documentation on how to use it. If you're not a front-end person, uh, like if you're not if you're not super good at designing things, uh, you're not good with colors. Like me, I'm colorblind, right? So um, if that's the case, then Quasar is an awesome, awesome, awesome utility for you. Um, and it's it's new, it's growing. Um, they just released 0 0.15 version 0 0.15, I believe, uh, which I covered the upgrade in my last tutorial. I'll put that. Uh, up in the little card above. You can check that out. Um, but yeah, we're going to get started with doing that. Uh, we're going to get started with building an actual application. We're going to build a little YouTube search tool. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to build We're gonna build that. This is going to be the first episode. And then we're just going to continue on. Um, that being said, I would like to prompt you guys for a little uh, hashtag shameless plug. Uh, I have started a Patreon for the channel because I plan on getting on a schedule, uh, actually like the things that I do, I'm trying to push all of those to GitHub so that you guys can see them and you don't have to be going into this blind and can't, like you'll actually like you'll actually have something that works uh, before you start to try to do a tutorial or maybe you're, uh, you don't have, uh, or maybe you're having issues with something and you can't figure out why it's not working so you can actually go see my code and uh, yeah, so hopefully that will, uh, hopefully uh, if you gain some value out of my YouTube channel, you'll check that out. You don't have to uh, you don't have to donate anything, only if you want to. Um, but I'm also trying to engage with you guys, so uh, you can check all that that information out. And that information will be down in the description below. All right, so enough about me. Let's talk about Quasar and building this app. So. If you have if you have no idea how to get started with Quasar, I recommend that you check out my previous videos. Um, we're gonna jump straight into this into building an application. So I'm gonna say Quasar in it YouTube search. We're gonna say yeah. We are gonna actually yeah. We're gonna say YouTube search. A Quasar Framework app uh, to search for YouTube videos. There we go. Uh, we're gonna. You guys can now see my email address, which is great. But that's fine. I don't really care. Uh, do we want to use Lint? Of course, we want to use Lint. Standard, of course. I have no plans on doing anything with Cordova right now, so we can uh, we can address that later on if we want to. Uh, use Vuex, yep. Ax Axios, of course. And I don't really care about uh, i18n or i11. And then I want to use Yarn. So that's going to go ahead and set up our project. Uh, hopefully, you guys followed along. You can always pause the video if I go too fast for you. Uh, just to kind of follow along with the steps, but um, that was just basic like uh, project setup. So hopefully nothing too crazy there, and you guys can uh, type that out while mine's installing. But I will be right back when this is done. All right, so it's done now. So what we can go ahead and do is we are going to cd YouTube search, and I'm going to go ahead and run yarn just because just to make sure we're up to date. And we're gonna say Quasar Dev. And this should take us into my browser once it loads everything up. And you guys are gonna see uh, basically just the starter template. So there we go. So here's just kind of the starter template. I uh, got our icon here. It's similar to 
pr the previous build, but this doesn't move around. But anyway, yeah, this is just kind of the starter template, which we really aren't going to need. We'll need this here, this little drawer. Um, I guess we could keep this, but the button can go away because I don't feel like I, there is no need to toggle that. So uh, let's just go ahead and we're going to start ripping this apart. So I'm going to open the folder, open that up, YouTube search, open. There we go. And I've opened the wrong project. So I want to go ahead and close that, open this back up. And let me see. I'm going to go ahead and I'll be right back. Oh, I see. All right, so the issue was I was in the wrong folder. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Ah! Uh, da, 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 Quasar dev. So I don't like running Quasar dev. So let me, for, first off, let me open up the actual project and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So let's go to my name here and then open up YouTube search. I don't like running Quasar dev every time um, because I'm so used to running yarn dev. So that being said, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna first hop into package.json, right? And I'm gonna add a, in scripts, I'm gonna add dev and we're just gonna say Quasar dev. Easy enough. Uh, we really don't need testing right now, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to leave the dev and lint. So now that we've done that, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to... There's nothing else that we need to do in the terminal. So I'm going to hop over into components, or over into our source, go to pages, and then I'm going to go to index. So this is the page that we're currently on, right? And this is what's getting displayed, is that image. So this page is actually th just this little pane right here. Everything else is in our default layout. So this is, it's all here. That being said, I'm going to leave this because I want to give them a little bit of credit. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to type in YouTube search, right? So I'm changing the title, which you will see from the Q toolbar title. So if I reload this, we now have YouTube search. That being said, I want to change the color of this from primary to negative to be somewhat more like YouTube with the, uh, the color. And I don't really care for glossy, so I'm going to get rid of glossy. There we go. And that should go flat here in just a There we go. Just like that. Now I'm going to also remove this Q button and we're going to leave that drawer open. So I'm going to get rid of these as well as this here and it's going to give me module errors. This is kind of an another cool thing it does or that Quasar does is it notifies you that uh, you have a module error with notifications. So I'm going to close these things out. There we go. I don't need any of that. Close that. I don't need the styles. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and check out what we got here, and it'll also tell us uh, what's broken, and I have a feeling that it's probably like, let's see, invalid x dash invalid dash in tag view, no parsing error. Ah, I missed a little bit when I was removing, so now once this reloads, our button should go away. There we go. So our button's gone away. We still have all our links over here, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get rid of those as well. So all these Q items, and I'm sorry that, that my fan is getting so loud. We're gonna get rid of this, and I'm gonna leave the list header here because we're gonna need that eventually. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna Type in results for now. There we go. And go ahead and reload that. There we go. So we got results, YouTube search, and then just this Quasar logo, but that Quasar logo is fixing to go away because we're going to hop into index 
and I'm going to remove that. All right. And let's go ahead and make sure that everything's good to go. There we go. So that's pretty much the layout that I'm looking for. Uh, giving credit to Quasar, the title that I want. Uh, maybe eventually we'll put an icon here to show, you know, YouTube or whatever. Uh, and then eventually we're going to add a list of items or a list of results here that we can click and it will change us, change the page that we're on to the video to display. That being said, the first thing that we want to do is we want to add a search bar and that's where we're going to end the video for today. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to index and I'm going to put a Q dash input. I'm going to, and then I'm actually going to close that off. And I want, what do I want? I, uh, I want, oh, I know, float label. I want that to be search. There we go. Uh, it's going to need a value as well. And I'm going to make that query text. And that's where we're going to hop down into our export default. We're going to do data, return, we're going to do query, text, there we go. So now this query text gets, should, or will be, uh, will be what's displayed here. We're getting some sort of little error here, so let's see what that tells us. Let's see, so missing space before parentheses, I forget that I need to do that. So now that I've done that, we should be good to go. So as soon as that finishes, there we go. So now I'll come back and you're gonna notice, oh no, we're not seeing it. Why aren't we seeing it? Well, that's because with the new version of Quasar, we actually have to either, or we have to come down into the Quasar comp. And there's a lot of cool stuff here that I'm gonna cover in another video, but I wanted to get this video uh, started because I promised you guys a video, but you're gonna see inside of this framework here this framework uh, Components array Or inside of framework you're gonna see the components array and you're gonna want to import Q input There you go. So now we should have our Q input As soon as this reloads waiting on those modules to rebuild reload and there's our input. So that's where I'm going to leave you guys for today. Um, and in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to look into how to actually search YouTube as well as uh, how to display them here in the sidebar. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.